has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Hello guys, my name's iMac117 and today I'm looking at the new Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle Honest trailer. So let's check this out. So three, two, one, now. Yeah, I guess I'll put this one. From the studio that just can't seem to launch a franchise comes the reboot no one wanted that ended up being really fun and something I wouldn't mind seeing more of? Is this, is this what hope feels like? Jumanji, welcome to the jungle. <laughs> you love the 1995 original. Now the reboot is tossing out the setting, the premise, the dead kids, the Robin Williams, and pretty much everything except the name. Jumanji! But since I swore blood oath to see every movie The Rock makes, here we are. <laughs> Four teenagers who are all unique in a breakfast clubby kind of way. Watch them learn self-confidence and compassion, just like The Breakfast Club, thanks to an action-packed day in detention. Just like that other movie, I believe it was called Power Rangers. You must be a bully of detention. Thrill as each teen is jumanji into an avatar that represents their character arc. The nerd who needs courage. The jock who needs humility, the weirdo who needs confidence, and the popular girl who needs to learn how a penis works. So, how do we do this? <laughs> oh my god, these things are crazy! It may be on the nose, wow. but you'll laugh as all the actors get to play against their usual type. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> I like can't even with this place. Except for Kevin Hart. I don't have a top two feet in my body! Kevin Hart, always Kevin Hart's. Hell! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Enter Jumanji, the board game that literally rebooted itself for a new generation that's sort of a riff on the tropes of video games. I think he's an NPC. Except when it drops the pretense to be a normal adventure movie again. They got away. We lost him in the jungle. Wait, why are the NPCs talking to each other? Uh, yeah, you know what, never mind. But it still does a good job poking fun at female heroes designed by dudes. Why am I wearing this outfit in a jungle? Scripted event. <laughs> Dr. Bravestone, Jumanji needs you. Jumanji needs you. Jumanji, Jumanji needs you. Jumanji needs you. We know. And multiple <laughs> violent deaths that never seem to face the characters. <laughs> Chill out. He'll be back. You know, if Mario was real, he'd never stop screaming. <laughs> After 35 years, Jack Black finally returns to the jungle. Just last night, I was lost in the jungle with Pitfall Harry, surrounded by man-eating crocodiles. While what? the rock just can't get enough, in the third chapter of his secret jungle quadrilogy, that's a <laughs> pure celebration of his rock appeal, as Dwayne Johnson spends an entire movie discovering the joys of being Dwayne Johnson, whether it's his arms, Jesus, would you look at the size of that thing? Realizing <laughs> he has no weaknesses, None? <laughs> his sex appeal, <laughs> or the effect he has on large bearded men. Damn, that is a man right there. And totally buy into the hype that's going to make him the second least qualified president someday. So uh, here up for a flick that surprised everyone at the box office, paid proper respect to the original. This is Alan Parrish's house, I'm just living in it. And reminded every studio that when most of your reboots, feature length comedies, and video game movies are terrible, we'll slob all over you just for showing basic competence. <laughs> Oh, yuck. That bit was so like, uh, oh, you're oh. fucking kidding me. Starring <laughs> Rocky Player One, the cake is a lie. Cake? Tenacious <laughs> OMG, Amy Respond, American Harry Styles, Gus Grimley, Too Many Cooks, and The Heart of Defeaty. The Jungle Book, the game, the movie, the reboot, the video game. Oh, The Jungle Book. <laughs> Albino rhinos! They're huge, white, scary, and stupid, and they eat people! Good news, Kev. We've got them on the ropes. Yay. Go us. Oh, no. Hey, <laughs> Spin Junkies. Want to avoid more of your life? Click the box on the left to explore our new show. I actually really liked Jumanji. I thought it was a very entertaining movie. I really did enjoy it. I think, what did I give? I think I gave it a 4 out of 5. Uh... But I don't, I don't do reviews, but I'm saying, like, I usually rank it myself, and I think I'd give that a 4 out of 5, give that a 4 out of 5, you know. Um, I saw Ready Player One recently, by the way. 
Uh, I give that 4 out of 5. I thought that was really good. It was really fucking cool. But, um, Jumanji, you know, it reminds me of a Lego game. The game it is, it reminds me of a Lego game. Like, you have your four characters that have certain abilities to get through puzzles. And that's what it reminds me of. And that's, like, if you put... If Jumanji was a Lego set and everything, and they made the movie into a game, it would work. You know what I'm saying? It, you could have your two hub worlds... Jumanji, and then the, I guess, the school, the real-life world, and then you have your characters. It would work. I don't think there would be enough characters, though, uh, unless they add ones from the original movie, which would work as well. But, um, yeah, I see it working. But, um, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.